Hi, I'm Ilona Peet uh, and this is Meet Britain's Makers, Made in the Midlands TV series that brings you the latest interviews with top manufacturing and engineering industry leaders. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit madeinthemidlands.tv for fresh weekly content. Today we're joined by Matt Stevens, Business Development Manager at Porter Cabin Group. Hello Matt. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming to our studios today. No Porter Cabin is a well-known name and most people know Porter Cabin because of its portable buildings. Um, and it's a fantastic, great British success story and your products are exported around the world. So um, could you tell us a, a little bit about some of the more unusual projects that Porter Cabin has been involved in? Yeah, certainly. I mean, with, with Porter Cabin, we we can deal with anybody and everybody. We're not restricted to one particular sector that we operated. So, you know, we, we tend to deal with, with some key sectors, um, but some of the more unusual stuff we get involved with is because our buildings can be completely bespoke, people can come to us with any request and we'll be able to, to fulfill that request. So mm -hmm. a more unusual one is we, we did a, a project uh, recently for a university hospital in North Staffordshire, mm -hmm. which is they wanted some uh, ward space and also some operating theatres. So it was, okay. it's a very complex project. The, the site was very, very tight. Yeah. Um, so we had to sort of configure the building to, to fit in the, the space that we had. Um, but as a result of that, now they've got fully functioning wards, completely compliant with all the necessary medical regulations. Um, and that was, um, it was a 13 million pound project. So it was a, a real big project for us. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, so now people are actually having operations in port cabin buildings, which when you say that to people, oh, they're obviously yeah. they're sometimes quite surprised that we, we can do that level of, of high spec. Yeah. You know, but it's something that we're, we're very proud of. So. Yeah, it's something probably you wouldn't think that Porter Cabin could be used for. No, and exactly. Hospital. And, yeah, and that's, that's a large part of my role is creating that awareness. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have a perception of Porter Cabin, but we want to make people aware of what the reality of, of Porter Cabin buildings actually can be. Okay, great. And um, could you tell us how much of the manufacturing is actually done on site? Uh, most of the manufacturing that we do is at our head office in York, our main manufacturing facility. They've got a 64-acre manufacturing site there. Um, so th the benefit of our buildings is that because they're manufactured off-site and fitted out off-site, it minimises the amount of time on-site, which mm -hmm. shortens the lead time for the end user and also you know, minimises environmental impact. There's less vehicle movements and all that sort of thing. So in comparison to, to traditional construction, there's a lot of benefits for, for off-site and the way that we, we manufacture our buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Um what will make a great client for Porter Cabin? Um, anyone, anyone can be a great client for Porter Cabin. We we tend to deal a lot with um, with with main sectors. So our, our key sectors at the moment are our education, where we do a lot with schools uh, because funding is an issue for them. Obviously, modular buildings is a good way for them to provide high quality teaching spaces mm -hmm. uh, in in short lead times. We do a lot with manufacturing. It's our second biggest sector after education, um, which is what I, I tend to, to get more involved with the manufacturing sector. Um, and then healthcare, like I mentioned, we do a lot with hospitals now because, again, it's all government funding. They're struggling for that, but they still have to hit targets and things like that so we can help them reduce waiting times at A&E and we can help them, you know, expand their ward space and make sure they've got compliant buildings. And the benefit of our buildings, particularly for the health sector, is that because regulations do change it every mm -hmm. now and again, they can future-proof their building because we can reconfigure the building internally if needs change in, in mm -hmm. two, three years time. So they've got, in comparison to a traditional building where you don't have that flexibility with our mm -hmm. building, you do. So it's a real big selling point for us, the flexibility that our, our buildings can so provide. So what, what do you mean by flexibility? How can, is a potter cabin a flexible product? Uh, in a way, yeah, because all the strength in the building is around the exterior, mm -hmm. so through the external walls and columns. So internally, there's no columns that have to support the roofs or ceilings right, or anything like yeah. that. So we can fit the building out with partitions to create rooms or, mm -hmm. or whatever else they need. And then if in a few years time they realize actually they want to completely change it, mm -hmm. we can come in, take all the walls out, reconfigure mm -hmm. them to the, whatever they need it to be, and then they can use the building for a new purpose. So mm -hmm. it does give them that flexibility. They don't have to worry about reconnecting all the electrics and the foundations. Mm -hmm. They can just reconfigure it internally and, and, and use it for a different purpose. Oh yeah, so that's, that's a really good solution, I think, especially for um, places like hospitals when you say requirements change over time. Um, so you mentioned there's a lot of different uh, clients that you service, but which part of the business is actually growing the fastest? Um, I'd probably say the higher division um, is growing, growing the fastest. So we've got, we've got a few different sort of parts of the business. We have a higher division who deal with the hiring of buildings for, for short or long term needs. Uh, we have a, a sales division who deal with, with selling permanent buildings, which obviously they can do a few things that, that the higher division can't. 
um, because it's a you know, permanent building. We have another part of the business that deals with construction site accommodation. So any of the stuff you'll see on construction sites, we can obviously provide that because they tend to have very specific needs and standardised layouts. And then we have another part of our business that do um, our building second hand. So when we finish with them on the higher side of the business, they will sell them on second hand, which mm -hmm. you know, obviously if, if people are on a tighter budget, that can work if they want a permanent building, but they want it on a... Uh, on a certain budget, you know, mm -hmm. we, can, we can serve that. So we try and get as many parts of the business as we can mm -hmm. um, to, to, you know, provide a need, provide a solution for whatever need the customer has. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's all, it's actually growing on every front. Yes, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're, we, you know, we are a growing company and we're uh, we're recruiting more staff, and it's, you know, it's going really, really well. So how big is Porter Cabin now as a company? Uh, Porter Cabin, we've got about seventeen hundred staff at the moment, mm -hmm. um, split across our head office manufacturing site and, and head office functions mm -hmm. there, and then we've got. Um, over 50 hire centres around the rest of the UK. So wherever there's a, a large town or city, we'll have a presence there. Mm -hmm. So we like to, we like to, we're very big on dealing with local people. So mm -hmm. we don't want to be dealing with a call centre, mm -hmm. um, just you know, with that in-personal touch. We like to someone who, who knows the local area and can talk about local projects, going out to see somebody and just you know, get that, that good sort of working relationship because we're very much about service and that building that relationship with the customer rather than just trying to get a, a quick order and going for the hard sell we want to mm -hmm. build a relationship and work future and and it does work because we get a lot of our business from repeat business mm -hmm. so people use our buildings once and then come back again and again and again so which is that's a real good uh, and it's good not thing. just uh just businesses, actually people use their porta cabins. You said I could have fit a porta cabin if I wanted in my garden if, instead if, of the if conservatory. If that's what you wanted, yeah, you could have, a, you could have, a, you know, you could buy one of our buildings and put it in your back garden if, if that's what you really wanted. So, you know, there's a million and one uses for them. Whatever mm -hmm. you could use a normal building for, mm -hmm. you can use a porta cabin building for. Great. I mean, so um, are you currently investing into apprenticeships um, and how how important this is, do you think? It, it's very important, yeah. We, we do have an apprenticeship scheme that we run across the business. Various different you know, job roles within the business. Some mm -hmm. of them are on the, the commercial side, some are on the project side. We do sort of trade apprentices, so plumbers, joiners, electricians, all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and we, we do apprentice awards and things like that. So we, do, we are investing a lot in that and, and we do invest a lot within our staff to, you know, to train them, to develop them. And, you know, make sure that they're obviously very beneficial to the business when mm -hmm. they, you know, move about. Because there's a, because we are a quite a large group, yes. there's a lot of opportunities yeah. mm -hmm. for us to, to get these people moving about the business. And it's good if they've got an understanding of all the different aspects. Mm -hmm. and so, you've recently won um, a UK Private Business Award. So how much of a testament was that to the quality of your services and... Um, how pleased were you? Was your team with winning this award? Yeah, it, it was it was fantastic. You know, we, we always pride ourselves on on giving good customer service and being a, a, a good company. But it's always nice when you get that official recognition. That's you it, know, yeah. the, the other people have recognised that and, and appreciated that and, and given that award. So we're mm -hmm. really really proud of that. So. Okay, was you there to uh, collect? I, I I wasn't there unfortunately. No, it was yeah. some of the uh, the the directors that went to that uh, to collect the award. So, but. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, they, they were very grateful and, you know, we're really, really proud of that. Thanks, that's great. I'm going to check out the photos later. Okay. okay and um, also, I saw in the news uh, that um, Porter Cabin has completed um, a, quite a substantial development for Zurich in, in insurance. Um, how Porter Cabin provided the solution? What happened there? Because it was quite an upsetting story, wasn't it? Yes, it yeah, it's... Um, we do a lot of work with Zurich Insurance as their supplier for um, sort of disaster recovery scenarios. Um, so in this particular instance, it was a school that had had a, a devastating fire to, right towards the end of the, the school holidays. I think it was the 25th of August. So the kids were due to come back in a few weeks' time and, and obviously the, the school was devastated and there was no classrooms available. So um, we, were, we were called in uh, by the school and, and Zurich to provide some temporary accommodation for them. So within 23 days, we provided them with 20 classrooms so they can teach all the pupils. Um, and, and in that 23 day period, we managed to install all the buildings, uh, temporary roadways, all the connections, all the foundations, all the internal fit outs to get the, the school back up and running uh, and minimize the, the impact on the children. So we're, we're really proud of that. And that's just one of, of many examples that we mm -hmm. do, do a lot of work in that planning. And it's actually a free service that we offer. So if somebody wants to look into their contingency planning for the business, mm -hmm. regardless of what sector they're in, health, manufacturing, education, we offer it as a free service where we'll come out to site, have a look at what could be lost in a, a fire, flood, mm -hmm. whatever it might be, and then um, provide them with uh, an emergency building plan of what we would provide and what timescales would be involved so they can then speak to their insurers and check 
check one, they've got the right level of insurance and also mm -hmm. they've got a plan in place to make sure that if their the facilities are taken out, they can get back up and running as quickly as possible. And, and you know, nowadays customers are, have a lot of choice and you don't want to lose them. So mm -hmm. if a business is not operating, they could potentially lose their, their clients. Mm -hmm. So if they can get up and running quicker, they can keep their clients and you know, it's, it's much more uh, sustainable for them. Mm -hmm. It is a really great story. So 20 classrooms, in 23 days with all the infrastructure, it is really impressive, Matt. And I'm sure there's lots and lots we could probably talk about yes. in terms of st stories like that. So it was really great to learn about Porta Cabin. It is a, a fantastic business with lots of employees and sites all around the UK. Uh, thank you very much for coming uh, to our studio today, Matt, and talking about Porta no Cabin. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more of these successful stories in the future. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel, uh, YouTube channel, May, um, visit madeinthemidlands.tv for more news and uh, interviews. And I will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you much. No problem. Bye.